Hi guys, it's Stephanie from Cake Nation. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a Cinderella cake. So with this cake, I had a cake that burnt in the oven and decided to just try out this method. So I've just got a six inch cake that I've cut in half. And I'm just sticking that on a six inch cake board, filling it quite thinly with buttercream and then I've got a picture of Cinderella here I've put the link to that in the description box down below so once you've cut that out just cut around the face on the cake be careful to keep your knife nice and straight down and don't actually cut at an angle which is sometimes what I end up doing but if you just cut out the face following what you've printed off and then remove away any of the excess cake that you have. Cover that in buttercream. It doesn't need to be a thick covering for this cake because you still want to be able to see the defined lines that you've actually cut out before. Once you've covered the cake either leave it to dry overnight or pop it in the fridge for five minutes before covering. So I've taken some of Sugar Flare's daffodil colour and mixed some yellow. This is going to be for the hair. You want to roll this out quite thinly for this design because we're going to be building up fondant upon fondant. Um, and so you don't want it too thick. So just cover the whole of the face in yellow. Be careful to come in where it's actually showing that it should come in. So around the hairline and around the face because you want to see those defined lines when you actually stick the face on the cake. Smooth out the edges with some smoothers and then just trim off any excess paste that you have and put to one side because we'll need to use this later for the hair. Once you're happy with the cake being covered, if you take the picture and cut out the face, just the face of the picture and lay this on top of the cake that you have. If you take your Dresden tool and then just draw around the face slightly um, just to give you an idea of where to actually place the fondant for the face once you've actually rolled that out. Once you've done that, you want to colour some of your sugar paste in the Sugar Flares chestnut and skin tone colour. Once you're happy with the colour that you've got, if you roll that out quite thinly and then take the picture that you've got of Cinderella's face and cut that out neatly. then going to take this and just place it on top of the cake and the markings that we've made. The edges you want to smooth out just by rubbing around the fondant whilst it's actually on the cake and this will just give it a smoother feel. Next you want to cut out the lips and the eyes on the face that you've printed off. And then you want to place this over on top of the face that we've just placed on the cake. And again with your Dresden tool, you want to make the markings on the face so that you know where to place these once you've actually cut them out of fondant. With the eyes, what I did is I just marked them in slightly with the Dresden tool and also my fingers, making sure that there's sort of like a hole for it to sit. And I've also roughly marked in where the nose should be. You can see me using my fingers just to create an eye socket shape on the top. Keeping it quite smooth around the face and just tidying up any hangovers that I've got.
once you're happy with that again if you cut the lips out and make the same marking on the face for the lips um, and I've also marked in where the eyebrows should go as well next I'm just going to mark in where the nose is um, I'm going to only do this side of the nose on one side of the face and then just make a marking in with the nostrils a little bit deeper sort of smoothing it out a little bit so there's no marks um, on the face I'm not doing both sides of the nose as I think it might look just a little bit weird um, just marking in the sections of the hair following that from the picture I'm only doing the top bit because the um, fringe and the bits at the side we're actually going to add in with fondant to give it more of a 3D effect I've got some blue fondant that I've just made with Sugar Flares Baby Blue and I'm just going to roll out the earrings looking at the picture that I've got for guidance on the size and the shape of the earrings feel free to take these off and adjust as and when needed once you're happy if you just leave them on the side of the cake and start to roll out the hairband once you're happy with the general shape of the hairband if you flatten it slightly and then we're going to start to work on the hair if you do the side bits first um, so just measuring them against the face and trying to slot them in where they need to go once you've done both of the sides we can then work on the fringe fringe needs to sit on top of those and slightly on top of the hairband as well So for the hairband I actually rolled out some yellow fondant and then ended up cutting out the shape um, of the hair. I thought that was going to be the easiest way to do it and then just cut that out with a knife. Once you're happy with the rough shape that you've got, if you place that on top, of your cake just to see the size differences I'm smoothing out the edges just pulling it down a little bit so that it doesn't look too jagged when it's on just taking off a little bit more excess there so that it doesn't cover too much of the face and once you're happy with the hair you can start to stick it down just with some water and taking off some of the excess hairband there And just adding on the side bits for the hairband. Once you're happy with the shape of the hair, if you make the markings on the front of the hair as it is in the picture, just using the side of the Dresden tool for this. So for the teeth what I've done is I've taken some white fondant, just rolled out a tiny little bit um, and into a sort of sausage shape and flattened slightly and then I'm just going to stick that in the middle of the mouth. It doesn't have to be too neat because we are going to put lips on and the lips will actually cover the um, rest of the teeth or the, the white fondant that we don't want to see. I've got some cherry red and I'm just going to colour some white fondant and that will be used for our lip colour. Now once you're happy with the shade that you've got, if you roll out a sausage, now I've just used it against the picture that I've got to get a similar kind of shape and then I'm going to place that straight on the face. 
I'm going to take off any excess that I do not need. They do need to be quite thin as they come up to the top lip so it actually just sits properly. I'm smoothing out the white fondant here just so that the lips sit on nicely. Once you're happy with the shape of the bottom lip, if you then start to work on the top lip, again just rolling out some red fondant, quite thin for the top lip and once it's on there you actually do need to make a mark in the middle um, to give the uh, cupid's bow on the top lip. Just make sure that it joins up quite neatly, we don't want any overhang. If there is any overhang, just remove that with a knife um, until you're happy with the shape. Next I'm going to work on the eyebrows. So I've literally just got some brown fondant. I'm going to roll that out quite thinly because she's got quite thin eyebrows. And then I'm going to place those on where the faint line is where we drew on the eyebrows earlier on. Um, once you're happy with the size and shape of these, if you just stick them down with some water or if you prefer you can use some um, sugar glue. So for the eyes, we're just going to roll out some white fondant quite thinly and we've cut out the eyes from before. So we're just going to cut out that line from the white fondant. Now it doesn't hold its shape too great because it is fondant, it's not modelling paste that I've used. But once you've actually placed it on the eye socket, you can actually amend it and just push it back into shape, taking off anything that you don't need. And you want to repeat this for both eyes. As you can see, I'm just using my tool to neaten up the sides of the eyes and push it back into place. So using my finger to smooth it out a little bit and using the knife to remove off any excess that I no longer want to be on the cake. Once you're happy with one eye, do the, exactly the same for the second eye. So now what I've done is I've taken some of my skin tone fondant and I've rolled it into a sausage shape. And placing this on the eye, this will create the eyelid that you usually see in the pictures. You need to do this for both of the eyes. From the eyes that we cut out before, we want to cut out the pupils of those, place those back on the eyes that we're making and just draw on the slight circle where we need to place the pupil. And then I've got some of my blue fondant and I've just rolled um, the pupil out and I'm going to test that just on the eye socket that I've placed already. Fits quite nicely so I'm going to do the same for the other side. And just make sure you've got the positioning right when it comes to putting these eyes on. They can look a bit weird when they're not finished properly. So next we want to work on the eyeliner and the eyelashes. So I've just got some black fondant and I'm just rolling it out quite thinly. Um, I'm placing that on the eye using my Dresden tool just to neaten out where I want it to go and making sure that it's in the position it needs to be. Flicking out the end of the eyeliner and then taking some more of the black and rolling that out really small and these are going to act as the other eyelashes. Now I only think that I did three eyelashes in total which I felt was more than enough for the cake. Once you're happy with one side, again you want to go on 
and roll another one for the other side. Once you're happy with the placement of the eyelashes, I've taken some Aztec blue and I've just painted a dark circle around the eyes. I'm then going to clean my brush and wipe off any excess water and then use the brush literally just to pull in from the outside of the dark into the light. It doesn't have to be too neat because obviously the colours of the eyes are all different. I've got some black fondant that I'm going to use for the pupils and then just a little tiny white blob just to go in there for the light reflection. Now my camera actually did die at this point but the only thing that I did additional was to put on the um, white in the eye and then just a tiny bit of um, edible dust for the blusher. But here's the finished cake. If you do like this tutorial please feel free to check out my other tutorials that I have. Um, and also feel free to pop over and have a look at my cakes on my Facebook page. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my other tutorials. Thank you.